In the spring of 1945, I was on Okinawa as a frightened and barely adequate infantry replacement, concerned with victory to be sure, but very much concerned with selfish survival. Japanese artillery pieces had tried for several days without success to hit the little plateau on which our mortar squad was located. Then one evening, they dropped three shells on us. They had finally found the range and we knew it, and surely they knew it. Since one of those shells fell just several feet from my foxhole, I was stimulated, as you might imagine, to intense prayer, full of promises. Strangely, no more shells fell near us that evening, at the very time when more shells should have been fired for effect. Foxhole faith brought some blessings that evening, but it caused me to make some covenants which I am still striving to keep. I have often wondered, had the Lord that night not only blessed me as he did so clearly and mercifully, had he also told me to be of good cheer, for not only would I live, but one day, just a few ridges away, I would preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to an LDS chapel full of members. I wonder if I could have managed that perspective. Probably not. Yet that is precisely what happened in 1973, 28 years later, as I was privileged to go back to that spot, which for me is a sacred spot. Sugarcane has since covered the little plateau, but not my poignant memories of Okinawa, the bloodiest battle in the Pacific. Two insights emerged. First, it is naive to think we can repay God for his blessings. I am more and more in debt to him now than I ever was in 1945, and I will be forever. God blesses according to law, but out of all proportion to the ratios we mortals reckon by. Second, along with believing in the gospel, we need to believe in our own possibilities, not as to status, but as to power to do good. God could surprise, yes, even stun, each of us here today if we could manage such divine disclosures. Such must usually be kept from us or can only be hinted at for now. But specific and special opportunities are pending for every person here today. If we can trust God and do each day's duties and bear our present pain, we can't walk a straight and narrow path in the dark. Hence, God gives to us the gospel by which we get direction, motivation, and illumination. But there appears to be no point, I learned, in God's illuminating the trail beyond where our eyes of faith can now see.